All this week, we've been talking about how the Bible is a supernatural book. And because it is a supernatural book, we need supernatural help to understand it. But that's exactly why Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to live within us, so that he might open our minds and so that we might understand the scriptures. But even though the Bible is a supernatural book, it's not a magical book. And by that, I mean some people treat the Bible really weird. It's like they will just open the Bible, they will take their finger, point down to a random verse, read that verse, and then hope that God will speak to them. And if you do that consistently like that, you're never going to really understand what the Bible is all about. But we don't read anything else that way. If you got a letter, let's say a personal letter in your mailbox, you wouldn't just grab that letter and open it up without looking to see who it's from or even if it's addressed to you. But supposing you just ripped open the envelope, you had a four-page letter, and you just randomly pick page number three. You read the top paragraph of page number three, then you set the letter down. A couple days later, you come along, you pick the letter up, you randomly pick page number two, and you read the middle paragraph. You set it down. Three days later, you come along, you pick the letter up, you read the last paragraph of page number one. Suppose you're talking to a friend later that day and you say, you know what, I got a letter from someone a, a week ago, but you know, the letter makes no sense to me. I don't understand who it's from. I don't know what they're trying to say to me. I don't even understand why they sent it. I'm just really confused. Well, of course, but nobody reads a letter that way. When you get a letter, you say, well, who's this from? Who is it to? You start at the beginning and you read all the way through the letter. If you come across a word that you don't understand that they wrote, you would get a dictionary out. You would look at it. While you're reading the letter, you would be asking yourself just behind the scenes and just running in your mind, you'd be thinking, I wonder why they wrote me. Uh, I wonder what they want me to know. What's the purpose of this letter? Is there something they need for me to do? And you would be asking these questions to try to determine what was the purpose and the meaning of the letter, what you're supposed to get out of it. So likewise, when you read the Bible, it's a supernatural book. So depend upon the Holy Spirit to open your understanding, but read it with some common sense. And if you do that, I believe God will speak to you very consistently through the Bible.